Hello friends, long time no see. I was gone for a little bit because I went to visit my family, but I'm back. I came back pretty much last night and once I stepped into my apartment, I noticed that I got a little gift here. Now uh, this is just a few stuff that I got from Colourpop Cosmetics, uh, mostly eyeshadows because I'm a huge fan of eyeshadows. Fun fact about me, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I really like doing my makeup. I've been doing it since I was around 13 or 14, starting uh, with makeup for competitions back when I was a gymnast. And now I just do it for fun because that's part of my look. Um, I wouldn't say I learned it very properly. I just kind of taught myself with whatever I found online. So you wouldn't catch me watching James Charles, but I think I know kind of what to do. And I like it. It's a form of art. So I got their eyeshadows. And I thought maybe it will be cool if I unboxed it and showed you how it's going. Right. Okay, so this is very nice. Special delivery. <laughs> um. Ooh, wow. Oh, nice. Okay. So I did their whole, you can build your own eyeshadow palette on their website and that's what I did. That's the thing I'm most excited for. But I also bought a couple of sets. So we got the, we got the eyeshadows right here. I think that's the box for them. Um, a star, thank you. Um, I got three eyeliners. Um, and a couple of already arranged eyeshadow palettes. So this one's called, and it's trance. That is so cute. And high tide. So this one should be lots of shades of blue and green, which are my favorite. And this one. Should be a lot of purples and pastel -y. Okay, let's check it all out. So I'm gonna start with the palettes. Let's go with High Tide. It's gonna be the first one. I do really enjoy this packaging, the like paper packaging. I like it much more than the plastic ones. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Sorry, I saw the plastic cover. This is so nice. Oh yeah, I can think of many ways in which I can use these colors. Okay. And second one. Okay, so this one isn't paper, this one is a plastic box. Oh. oh, perfect. Yes. Oh, it has a mirror too. Cute. I really wanted this one because I like to put lighter colors in like the inner corners of my eye and I wanted to have variety. So I have here like this um, white, like dual chrome and this blue one, I'll use them for sure quite a lot. I'm not a huge fan of glitter. Uh, I'll use this purple one for sure and probably won't use the pink that much because it's not my go-to color. Um, but still, I can definitely come up with a way to use it. So before I get to the most exciting part, I do want to open the eyeliner. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's kind of a reddish. I feel like I ordered these so long ago, I barely remember which colors I got. Okay, so I get this red. Typically, I'm not very lucky with 
uh, cream eyeliners because I don't know why, but my waterline is like super watery and they start to drip. So I typically avoid using them, but I wanted to give these a shot. So I got myself a few. Okay, and the last one. I think, I think that's a, that's a light blue. Yes, light blue. Perfect. Ah, these are very nice. Okay, so I got my eyeshadows and eyeliners, and now I'm gonna build my own palette. Okay, so I assume that's a magnet on the back. I would say for sure, judging by the palette I built myself, I have a huge um, love towards the combination of dark colors with super light ones. Nothing, I'm not, I don't really go for earth tones or anything natural. I like it to be obnoxious and extravagant. Now that I assembled everything, I'm gonna start testing them. I did a few swatches on my arm, but decided that the best way to really test my supplies is to actually use them the way I intend. I forgot to mention before, but I am in no way affiliated or sponsored by Colourpop Cosmetics. I just followed this brand for a while and saw that they are having a huge sale, so I jumped on the opportunity because I wanted to check out their product for quite a while. I started off with a simple smoky eye look using the Rising Tide palette. I used the color titled Lunar for the outer corner of my eye and the dark base, Flora as a transition shade, and Must See as my shimmer. This is how I usually do my smoky eye. I dark and matte color around the eyelid and in the outer corner and a shimmery eyeshadow in the middle. I'm a huge fan of metallic and duochrome anything, even paint, so I use it quite often. For the inner corner, I use the lightest shade of this palette titled Just a Splash, which I really like. It's minty green with subtle silver glimmer. I finished off with a pink eyeshadow from the Trans palette and some blue eyeliner on my waterline. I really like the shade called Muscle Beach, but I didn't end up using it this time. I'll have to figure out a cool look for it. Now I'll be using the palette I assembled myself. I used the dark brown color called Cloud 9 as my matte base and the green duochrome shade uh, Wishful Winking. The names of these eyeshadows are honestly kind of ridiculous. I really like Wishful Winking though, because I still can't figure out which exact color it is. It looked green on first glance, but when I looked closer, it's more of a cold red with some bronze, and then it has an interesting blue reflection. The bottom line is, it looks stunning. I noticed that the Colourpop eyeshadows are very chalky in their texture, especially the matte ones. To be honest, I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I have a set with some more creamy formula and I have a Morphe set that is more chalky and both work well for me. I know some people complain about chalky texture, but I personally see no problem with it. The colors are very vibrant, which is exactly what I need in life. And I noticed that they didn't stain my eyelids, though I'll have to wear them for a bit longer to really judge that. For my inner corner, I used a light peachy color called, um, what's your sign? <laughs> It's cool, but it blends so much with my natural skin color that I don't think it's very visible. It could be a good thing though, because my inner corners look blue when I'm not wearing makeup. 
Later on, I did a more gothic cat eye look using the dark Night Dream, which has a subtle purple glimmer and a bright green Mary Jane. I really liked how it turned out, but to be honest, I prefer neon colors for this look. I just have to find a palette with neon colors. I didn't get to test all of the colors that day because that's a lot and my skin started to really hate me by the third one. But I got a really good idea of how this brand behaves and overall I'm very happy with my purchase. I will definitely come back to Colourpop Cosmetics for my future makeup needs. Alright, so this is it for this unboxing. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't worry, I'm not becoming like a beauty guru right now. Uh, it is, this is just a one-time thing. I thought it would be really nice to come back and show another form of art, like another side of myself that I don't show that much because my channel is all about me painting and drawing, me making art, uh, but I don't really do anything else. So I thought, you know, I can shake it up a little bit, try something new. I sketched so much while I was at my parents' house. Like I sketched every day, I think. I have so many ideas and I'm very eager to start working on them. So I think this summer is going to be exciting, <laughs> at least as much as is left of it, because this is July right now. Uh, but I have so many ideas, so many things to work on. So don't worry, the exciting stuff is coming. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Give it a like if you liked the video. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.